Around 150 years ago, the British naturalist Charles Darwin proposed a theoretical idea he had arrived at based on certain observations he had made on his travels. The theory of evolution. Essentially, this theory consisted of various scenarios, assumptions, and guesswork that Darwin had conjured up in his own imagination. According to his evolutionary scenario, he supposed that inanimate substances had combined as the result of chance and given rise to the first living cell. And according to the myth of evolution, which was supported by no scientific findings whatsoever, this single-celled organism slowly transformed itself over generations into other forms of life, again, as the result of various alleged and coincidental changes. In other words, it supposedly evolved. According to the erroneous concept of evolution, all forms of life on Earth, from viruses to human beings, came to be as a result of this fictitious process. These claims of Darwin's were, of course, based on no scientific evidence or findings. However, since the scientific knowledge and technological means of the time were at a very primitive level, the extent to which Darwin's claims were nonsensical and unrealistic was not yet fully clear. It was in such a climate as this that Darwin's scenarios received immediate general acceptance from certain circles. Materialist circles in particular attached themselves blindly to the theory of evolution since it rejected the fact of creation. They even declared that it offered a scientific basis for their own atheistic and materialistic worldview. From Darwin's day to this, they have provided all forms of support in order to keep the theory alive. They have conducted study after study and experiment after experiment in the hopes of finding some evidence that might support evolution. Yet every study they have conducted and every evidence they have obtained so far has turned out to be refuting evolution rather than confirming it. Modern science and technology, which have made increasingly rapid advances since the beginning of the 20th century, have revealed that there is no scientific basis at all to the theory of evolution. All branches of science concerned with the subject microbiology, biomathematics, cell biology, biochemistry, genetics, anatomy, physiology, anthropology, and paleontology have produced countless proofs demolishing the theory of evolution. But the most important finding to demolish the claim of the theory of evolution has been the fossil record. Because countless fossils offer inescapable proof that living species on Earth have never undergone the slightest change and did not develop into one another. When the fossil record is examined, living things today are seen to be exactly the same as they were hundreds of millions of years ago. In other words, they never underwent evolution. Living creatures, even in the very earliest periods, had exactly the same perfect and superior characteristics as their counterparts do today. Moreover, they emerge suddenly onto the world stage with all their complex structures fully present.
This demonstrates the following irrefutable truth. Living things did not come into being through the imaginary processes of the theory of evolution, but were created in a single moment. The fact of creation has once again been revealed in the traces of flawless living things left over from long ago. In this film, you will obtain a closer acquaintance with various fossils dating back millions of years and can witness how they silently cry out to blind eyes and deaf ears. We are here. We did not come into existence by chance but were created. And we were exactly the same hundreds of millions of years ago. Fossils are the remains or traces of living things that existed eons ago in the past. In the same way that some recent fossils are only thousands of years old, there are others that belong to life forms that existed millions, even hundreds of millions of years ago. Fossils which have survived in the Earth's strata for hundreds of millions of years, right down to the present day, are an indispensable source of information regarding the organisms that have lived on Earth since life first began. They provide concrete evidence as to what species existed in which periods. Fossils came in various shapes and sizes, from entire skeletal remains right down to microscopic traces on stones. In order for a fossil to form, the body of a recently dead plant or animal has to be insulated from contact with the air and the external environment by being immediately covered in soil, mud, or sand. Over the months that follow, new layers of soil are laid down over the spot where the dead organism lies buried. These layers 